Jay Glazer joins us now. Jay, let's start is, is with... That, is that the perfect thing for me, sweet and nutty? Yeah, I like as, it, Mike. And, and some cheese and some uh, <laughs> and another little bout with college, if you wish. All right, let's get to Freeman up in Minnesota. What's going on there? Well, you know, it's interesting. I talked to him last week about which where he wanted to go. If you watch Fox NFL Sunday. I told you that Minnesota was always the team, with obviously Adrian Peterson and their shaky quarterback situation. Uh, but the interesting part was, was Leslie Frazier had told him, according to Josh, that Ponder can't lose his job to injury. So I said, Josh, we, you know, we're not going to go right in. He can't lose his job to injury, and obviously he's been hurt. Um, so when he's cleared, he goes back in. However, that kind of changed this week. He's been cleared. He's actually had an unbelievable week of practice, but Castle's going to be the starter. Because Castle's the guy. So it was almost as if, Leslie going into it said, hey, we still got to give Ponder one last chance. And coming out of it said, you know what? We don't need to give him one last chance. We know what he has. We know what he is. We need to move out of Josh Freeman. But, but Rick Spielman is really the guy that got this done. Josh, he just told me how much he loved me coming out of college. He actually tried to trade for him in that draft. Love the guy. And Josh said, that's that's where I want to be. I want to be in a place where somebody like this believes in me this much. Well, how much of this is on Freeman? How much of it's on Shiano? You know what, Mike? It, I've got to think. And I, look, there's a ton of smoke that, of, of things that have come. You hear in that bill and they're putting out about Josh. But I'm sorry. There's a lot bigger knuckleheads in that locker room. That, that you, you know, if you're, for this guy to just try and kill his name as much as he possibly could, it just didn't make any sense. You know I mean, he's not. My point is, he's not the worst guy in that locker room. He's not the. He's not the reason why your sky is falling down there. So, and the reason why they finally moved on from him, they pretty much tapped out. They said, you know what, we can't take it. We're, we're getting crushed here, and our head coach isn't able to coach. He's just getting killed here. So we're just moving on. We're not taking any of his money. We just want to clean our hands of him. But, but it's not too often you got Pro Bowl quarterback who's 25 years old who just falls into the open market. And none of us even want to. I mean, there's nothing even to be said about this Adrian Peterson story. I mean, this story is so oh. horrific. I mean, there's not even, you know, we just pray that the, we pray the little child just survives. I mean, this is just such a yeah. horrific story. If folks don't know, the Adrian Peterson evidently had a child out of wedlock that he was supporting. Who uh, the the mother had a boyfriend, and the boyfriend evidently assaulted, assaulted the child to the level where the child is on life support right now. So uh, we're dealing with one of the most hey, horrific was stories. That man was arrested. Yeah, it was arrested. And I, and I mean, it's it's a story that you can't even you don't even want to report it so bad. I mean, it's a well, it's just scary how bad it is. You know, there's two things on it. One, Adrian says he's playing this week, and it's just how it affects the product in the field. And, and you know, for a guy like that, I'm sure this is a it's a state of them. You know, just like sports is for everybody else out there. How could I somehow get my mind off this? And number two, I really hope they put that dude in general population. Oh yeah, well that's, yeah, that's 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 he will get his day. I mean, uh, when no you're that problem. evil, you'll when you're that evil, you'll get your day. Oh, so I mean, that's all there is. Do that? How I do mean, you even? No, you can't. I, 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 and you I, know, I, everyone it, 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 it affects it. everyone. But if you're someone who's had kids and you know yep. how vulnerable a two-year-old is, I mean, you just you can't even fathom the story. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to it's hard to fathom it. Really, it really just yeah. is hard. It's painful even to think of. It's 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 that horrific. It really it is. It is. All right, Gronkowski, how likely to play this week? Well, look, you know, I said two weeks ago he wasn't going to play last week, and he was targeting this week. And at the time, it was more his back. Well, now they're saying, well, no, it's not the back. It's the forearm, and maybe something got messed up in there. And you know, it's it, it, he was the one driving this. Gronk is the one deciding when he's going to play. It wasn't the Patriots. And kind of the other players, and they're like, oh, we love it. He's kind of telling everybody how it is. But it was his back that he wanted to make sure it's good. But all of a sudden, you know, it's, you know, this, there seems to be an issue of how the procedure is done with the forearm and if he goes out there, if he can refracture it or get an infection. So that's, you know, I, it, right now, it doesn't seem like he's going, even though, again, this is the week he had targeted all along. All right, so it sounds like no, but we'll wait till Sunday to make sure we'll you'll, yeah, yep. you'll tell us Sunday. Now, Gonz sure. let's get to the Atlanta story from this angle, number one. Number one, does the Gonzalez, is he happy to stay there and, and stay on the sinking ship, or would he like to be traded back to Kansas City? Absolutely does not want to get traded back to Kansas City. He wants to stay in Atlanta. He said, look, he said, yeah, I've been in these situations. And look, I guess last year was, my, was the year for my shot. 
but but he said I, I love football. And it's it's so funny all the people who go, Oh, come on, he can't really mean that. Let me tell you something. I've known this dude longer than just about anybody in the NFL. And he 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 speaks his mind. He doesn't care. Especially in our private conversations, he doesn't care. He will tell you the truth. And he is more than he's like, Look, I signed up to be with these guys. And it was because I even wrote to Thomas Dimitrov, and Thomas was like, Dude, "Don't even go there. Absolutely not. A million percent no." But Tony was just as emphatic. He's like, "No, I. This is where I want to stay. I hear it. Everybody's going to think I'm going to want to go somewhere else. I, I signed up to play with these guys." You know, has, has Jay has this? Year, now Arthur Blanks is a good man. Uh, now has, and I think he's a fair guy. Uh, but he's also a guy who wants results because he's, you right. know, he's a guy who built home be- depot. He's a result guy. Yep. So, with that being the case, is this year so her- so bad now, and and so many things have gone wrong that it will give Mike Smith a pass. Is is that the case with this year now? Well, you know, with with Arthur, I'm not sure. I would I would hope because look, sometimes injuries they are an excuse. They are a reason. You go in there with a fifty three, you know, you're expecting to at least play with your pick the top forty eight, forty nine. Not what's happened to them is ridiculous. And it's really it, it's really hard to overcome. So, you know, I think in a situation like this in a situation like this, as the year goes on, if it gets uglier and uglier, you know, I could see Arthur getting a little sensitive to it. It's really up to the GM to to, to really manage his expectations and understand, look, you're going to have years like this. It's not the head coach's fault. It's not the defensive coordinator's fault. It's not the GM's fault. It's not your fault. It's the injury bug's fault. And it just sometimes it happens. 